What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we are going to start tackling some of the cooling system. Um, I actually got the heater box out. Here it is sitting on the bench. Uh, we're just going to clean it up. We're going to put the new heater core in there, give it a wash, whatever. And then uh, we're going to get that plumbed into there. Uh, I wish the new Dodges were as easy as this guy. I, it literally took me less than five minutes to get this out and we'll be at the heater core in another couple minutes. Um, the only reason I say that is my new daily, I have to change the heater core on it. And it's probably gonna take excess of eight plus hours to rip that whole dash out just to get at the heater core. Uh, engineering fail on uh, if you ask me but anyways uh, I'm gonna th show you under the truck we got that bung it's bunged off uh, where the old overflow used to be we put pipe clamps on all those hoses that we needed to we still need to figure out the overflow tank uh, not a super big deal we'll just connect these two get the tank mounted somewhere and uh, that'll be that so uh, I'll show you the bung on the bottom and then uh, we'll get tearing apart the heater box so we can get the whole radiator in a closed loop. So uh, if we want to and when we want to that we can add the antifreeze in and that will be 100% ready to go. So uh, without further ado, here we go. Here we are guys under the truck. There is where we got the bung is what I've been calling it. Uh, just caps off that overflow, how it was a continuous loop. And then uh, we got the elbow, we got all the pipe clamps on that guy. There's that uh, piece of tubing I was talking about, the muffler tubing that we rolled the beads onto. So that's all closed on the bottom side here. So uh, yeah, let's uh, get to the heater box. Let's tear that thing apart and put the new heater core in. So here we are guys, we got the heater box out and uh... We're just gonna start tearing it apart uh, just to get to the new heater core. Um, as you can see that these lines are kind of munched from the last guy. Um, probably couldn't get them off, probably used the pliers or something. So we'll get this all cleaned up. We'll get that heater core out and we'll get the new one in. There's the old heater core and the new one. And uh, my Dodge is a 2013, it's 2021 now. And uh, look at this. It says March, March 20th, 1967. So that would be an original heater core. And my truck is eight years old and it already needs a new one. What a joke. But anyways, uh, We'll get that new one set in there. We'll get these pans cleaned up and uh, we'll get her all buttoned back together. Okay guys, we just got back from washing all this stuff out here. Uh, it's a little bit damp yet. Uh, it's not too bad. I blew it out with the air hose. Um, so all we gotta do is re reassemble. I uh, just freed these guys up really good. So they're traveling very nice. I was going to grease them up, but there's nothing really to grease. It's metal on metal. But uh, anyways, we're uh, going to get the boot back on here. We'll get the heater core in. And uh, I think this is a fancy Ford clip here that just pushes on the heater core up against the rubber. Um, so anyways, uh, I'll let you guys watch me put this back together and then uh, we'll throw her back in the truck. <music> So I found just a little chunk of rubber here. What I'm gonna do is just cut out a little square, poke a couple holes in there just so it kind of fits over there and seals it up. Uh, so that's what we'll do. So there we got a little piece of rubber with a couple holes in it. it should work. Just like so. There we go guys, we got the new heater core in there. Should be good for another 70 years. 
So it's all buttoned back together. So uh, let's uh, get that thrown back in the truck and then we can uh, finish our plumbing with the radiator lines. Here we are guys in the cab of the truck. We're uh, gonna get it all wired back up and uh, get the, the flap controls hooked up. Get this hooked up back to the vent and uh, then we'll go to the engine side. So here we go. Okay guys, we got the heater box mounted inside there again. Everything's kind of buttoned up. Sorry I couldn't film that for you. It was just uh, super frustrating to uh, try and film and get it in there at the same time. But anyways, there it is. New heater cores in. We got on this other side, we got some temporary heater hoses there. As you can see, um, we just need the heater control valve. Uh, I have one, I just need to dig it out, put the air cleaner back on. Um, so that's pretty much it for the cooling system, other than the overflow tank. So we got this uh, little aluminum overflow tank, and I think that we're just going to uh, mount it in right about there or something. That should work. So uh, I got this kind of loose right now. I'm going to make a mark, drill a hole, and get that thing mounted. So here we go. Okay guys, so here we go. We got the overflow mounted in. Sorry I didn't get any footage of me uh, mounting that sucker. My kids showed up and they wanted to come hang out with dad, so that was cool. Um, so I turned the camera off and I figured I'd just continue to plug away. But anyways, we got that guy, it's plumbed in. We got the overflow plumbed into that as well, to the bottom here. We just need to do uh, a overflow for the overflow uh, in the event that it overflows. Anyways, there is the old one. We just uh, bunged it off here. That can hide in there, it doesn't look too bad. So I believe other than the heater control valve, Everything is 100% on the cooling system, so that's a big win there. Um, yeah, I guess we're going to have to get a throttle cable on here. I don't have the throttle cable hooked up yet, but uh, yeah, we're plugging away. We got the brakes, we got the cooling, we got the intercooler. Uh, next is fuel. So we're going to do fuel next, and then we're going to attempt to do some wiring so we can get this thing to fire up uh, with the key and then after all of that we're going to fill it up with fluids and uh, we're going to haul it on a trailer to the driveline shop so anyways i think that's going to be it for this episode i want to thank you guys for tuning in to chili willies media working on project arnie uh, and as always, if you like these videos, make sure you smash the subscribe button, tell your buddies, and until next time, peace.